I'm Anthony Priscilla, and I'm doing some statistics today. We're working with normal uh, distributions. And I want to illustrate how to do these problems using StatCrunch software, which is embedded in your My Math Lab and will be available for you to use on tests. Assume that women's heights are normally distributed with a mean given by 62.7 and a standard deviation of 1.8. The difference between problems A and B, in A just one person is being selected, whereas in B it's a sample of 40 women. So in part B we're going to have to use the central limit theorem. But let's do part A first. Find the probability that this one randomly selected woman has a height less than 63 inches. To do this using StatCrunch, I'll pull up StatCrunch. I'll click Stat, Calculators, Normal, and then start filling in the information that we're given. 62.7 is the mean, 1.8, standard deviation, probability that height is less than 63.5666. Am I reading that right? If I round to four decimal places, 0.5662. Now I'll go back to the problem and type in 0.5662. Now for part B, you're, you're going to use the central limit theorem because it's a sample. So rather than just saying mu, it's the mu of that sample, uh, still by the six, uh, central limit theorem, 62.7. The standard deviation is not going to just be 1.8. It'll be 1.8 over the square root of that sample size. And it was 40 women, so the square root of 40. I need to pull up my calculator and let's see what we have. 1.8 divided by the square root of 40. And this I'm not going to round. 0.286, no, 0 0.28460. Four nine eight nine four. Now I'll go back, and it's still asking for the same height less than sixty three. So I'm going to pull up Stats Crunch again, and some of the stuff will already be filled in. The sixty two point seven. I need to change the standard deviation to point two eight. Four six zero four nine eight nine four and point eight five four one. Is that rounded to four places correctly? Yes. So I'll go back over here. Point eight. Five, four, one. A nice little software package, Stack Crunch. It's worth your time to get familiar with it because it can sure help simplify these calculations.